Hello friends, welcome to the industry overview of the broadcasting and cable te television industry of United States. Let's first of all start with the market segmentation and see how this market has been segregated in United States. Basically, the broadcast and cable television industry has been divided into two segments, the first being cable networks. Cable networks basically operate studios and facilities which distribute TV programs on a, on a subscription or a fee basis through cable systems. It basically includes the specialty TV cable networks and pay per view programming and it in excludes anything, relate in anything relating to programming production and satellite broadcasters. The next segregation is the broadcast network. Television broadcasters operate studios and facilities that program and deliver audio-visual content to the public via over-the-air transmission and it, it excludes cable and satellite television and operators that provide only online content. So this is basically the broad classification of broadcast and cable television in US. Next. Let's look at the cable network's specific industry analysis. Now, cable operators are the core of cable TV, uh, television revolution in US, supplying popular family shows, news, movies, sports, documentaries, and other products to the growing swarm of uh, eager subscribers in United States. Consumers are increasingly willing to pay for entertainment that suits their interest. And over the next five years, the cable distributors will demand more programs and new digital, uh, particularly high definition channels from them as they strive to maintain subscriber growth and interest. So this is what the cable network segment or industry needs to take care of. The industry is likely to benefit from the falling unemployment levels and also the increasing disposable income over the next five years up till 2019. Uh, this will result in revenue growth from improving contracts with the distributors, so it is surely to help the cable network segment. The cable network industry has a high level of market share concentration. If we see the industry's top four players itself make up for the, almost like 80% of the industry revenue that was seen in 2014. Let's now look at the TV broadcasting industry analysis. This industry has been facing strong competition from digital cable and satellite TV industries. The cable TV industry in particular has been a significant threat to the future of this industry through broadcast uh, though broadcasters are increasingly negotiating with cable networks to get a good portion of profit from the viewers. Also new media poses good competition with greater number of viewers opting for the internet. So this is the basic industry analysis for TV broadcasting wherein they are facing tough competition from the uh, cable TV industry. Let's now look at the market dynamics of the broadcasting and cable network industry in US. The business advertising program popularity and the consumer demographics are the basic uh, driving forces behind the demand of this sector. The profitability of individual companies basically depend on the advertising volume, programming mix and efficient operations. The large companies have an advantage because uh, they are market dominant because they own a uh, major of the TV stations in uh, specific geographic areas. So this proves to be very uh, advantageous for the large companies. Small companies on the other hand can compete very effectively with special programming that will attract a good amount of targeted audience. If you look at the US industry, it is highly concentrated with the top 50 companies in this industry account for almost 90% of the revenue of the entire industry. The US industry includes about 900 broadcast TV firms and more than 400 cable subscription firms. Out of the total revenue that comes from this industry, broadcast TV accounts for almost 40% of the industry revenue, whereas the 60% remaining comes from the cable TV accounts.